down and fighting is one of those ways. 354 days as you can see behind me um, and a lot more people are going to be finding transportation alternatives and one of those alternatives is a bicycle. <laughs> bike train behind me ready to roll out. The L train is going to shut down just one year from now and we're going to see a 300% increase in cycling. Um, we're going to have a lot of people getting on a bike to ride to work for the first time and a lot of people we talk to about this issue would say I would ride a bike but I don't feel safe. I would ride a bike but I don't know the network that well and how to get to work and this is an opportunity for people to meet some people ride over the bridge and get to work. Walking and biking is going to be the alternative for a lot of people in the city of New York or at least in Brooklyn. And what we want to do is make sure the infrastructure is there and that we bring attention to the fact that biking is an alternative and the city needs to make sure that everything that they can do to let us get to Manhattan safely gets done. What's up with that? What is up with that? Like, why are you there? That. That's dangerous. So we were coming up Brinkman Place where so there's an unprotected bike lane. There were four trucks blocking it. Then as soon as he had physical protection, as we were on South 4th Street heading into the bridge, the bike lane was working perfectly as designed and accommodated a large amounts of cyclists. It was beautiful. There are so many people who are already riding their bikes, as you can see. I came out from Manhattan pretty early in the morning and there were already people out there on their bikes. But when the L shuts down, that number is going to multiply. 12 months from now, I'm going to be faced with a situation where I won't have a subway service. Uh, the L train is my primary way to get into Manhattan uh, and I will be forced to spend 15 months on a bicycle. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I'm looking to meet more friends uh, and to get more of the North Brooklyn friends and neighbors riding bicycles so that way we can all figure out how to commute into Manhattan safely, efficiently, and healthily. No train? What are you going to do? You're going to take a bus, you're going to do mass transit, you're going to do an Uber. It's better and healthier to take, take the bicycle to work. We're all hoping that people don't just like get into cars or Ubers, but um, I think a lot of people are expecting that and the plans that we're seeing aren't really um, comprehensive enough. We, we all know uh, what's coming before us in less than a year is the shutdown of the outrage. Uh, the alternatives that are going to, to need to exist for us to be able to manage this somewhat respectfully for the residents of Manhattan and Brooklyn need to be paid attention to. And one of those alternatives is biking. We want a protected bike lane here! Choo choo! All aboard the bike train. L train shut down. Don't get me down. I can ride the bike train instead. Clarence, I'd just like to say congratulations on your 100th street film. I hope you're, I hope you're editing this and you're feeling chipper and a tear comes to your eye. We are here. <laughs> Yes, we're, I, yeah, whenever I'm filming something, I talk to my future self. 